readers. Welcome to week 12, lesson one. This math lesson is for schools who are using the Bridges and Mathematics program. Today, we will be learning all about angles. Are you ready to do some math learning? Let's get started. Today, we will classify and draw angles by using knowledge of right, acute, and obtuse angles in order to describe angles. Let's break down our objective. We will classify angles, which means we will sort them by category. We will also draw angles. We will be learning some new vocabulary words today. Right, acute, and obtuse. We will use all of this knowledge in order to describe angles. Think about it. Examine the picture below. Which angle doesn't belong? Explain your thinking. I notice that angle C doesn't belong with the rest of the angles. Angles A, B, D, and E all have small angle measures. They are only rotated or open a little bit. They have a measurement that is less than a right angle. Angle C has a large angle measure. It is open or rotated a lot. It has a measurement that is greater than a right angle. We will learn what to call each of these angles in today's lesson. Learn about it. Let's learn about angles. What is an angle? Well, here is the word resource card for angle. An angle is a figure formed by two rays or two line segments that share an endpoint. It's often measured in terms of the amount of rotation that's needed to superimpose one of those rays or line segments onto another. An exact angle measurement is expressed in a number of degrees. Here are some examples of angles. You can see that some of the angles are formed by two rays, and some of the angles are formed by two line segments and form vertices of polygons. We can classify or sort angles into different categories based on the measurement of the angle. Let's learn about each type. The first type of angle is called a zero angle. Zero angles look like this. You can see that the two rays are not open or rotated at all, but are rather laid on top of each other. Zero angles have a measure of zero degrees. That little sign means degrees. The next type of angle is an acute angle. Acute angles look like this. You can see that they can be facing in any direction and that they are not rotated or open very far. Acute angles have a measure anywhere between zero and 90 degrees. The next type of angle is a right angle. Right angles look like this. You can see that the two rays form perpendicular lines, no matter which way they are turned. We indicate right angles by a square drawn at the vertex, where the two rays share an endpoint. Right angles have a measure of exactly 90 degrees. The next type of angle is an obtuse angle. Obtuse angles look like this. You can see that the two rays are open or rotated farther apart than the rays in a right angle. Obtuse angles have a measure anywhere between 90 and 180 degrees. The last type of angle that we will learn about today is a straight angle. Straight angles look like this. You can see that the two rays are pointing in exact opposite directions and are forming a straight line. Straight angles have a measure of exactly 180 degrees. Now that we know the different types of angles, let's learn how we can draw angles of a certain type. Let's draw an acute angle. We can visualize a right angle to help us determine the angle measure that would be an acute angle. Let's start with a ray. The ray can face in any direction. We know that an acute angle measures between 0 and 90 degrees, so its measurement is less than a right angle. Let's visualize a right angle to help determine an angle measure that creates an acute angle. This is one example of an acute angle because it is greater than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees, or less than the right angle. In other words, it is open or rotated more than a zero angle and less than a right angle. However, since we don't have any other information about the angle measurement other than it's acute, this is just one example of an acute angle. It could also look like this or this or much more. There are many possibilities when drawing an acute angle without a more specific measurement. We can also draw an obtuse angle. Let's start with a ray again. This time, we know that an obtuse angle measures between 90 and 180 degrees, so its measurement is greater than a right angle. 
So if we visualize our right angle again, this time we can determine the angle measure that creates an obtuse angle. This is one example of an obtuse angle because it is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. In other words, it is open more than a right angle and less than a straight angle. That's just one example of an obtuse angle. It could also look like this, or this, or many more possibilities. Again, there are so many possibilities when drawing an obtuse angle without a more specific measurement. We can also identify angles in polygons. Let's take this rectangle for example. It has four angles at each of its four vertices. Let's identify the type of this angle. The two line segments, or sides of the rectangle, are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, this angle measures 90 degrees and is a right angle. We can label the right angle with the square where the two sides meet to show that it is a right angle. All of the angles in a rectangle are the same. They are all right angles. They are equal to each other and they all measure 90 degrees. Let's examine this triangle. It has three angles. Let's identify the type of this angle. If we create a right angle with the base of the triangle, you can see that this angle inside the triangle is open less than the right angle. Therefore, it is an acute angle. In fact, all of the angles in this triangle are acute, even though they do not all measure the same amount of degrees. This angle up top has a smaller measure than the other two. It is open or rotated less than the other two. Finally, let's examine this pentagon. It has five angles. Let's identify this type of angle. If we create a right angle with one of the line segments, you can see that the angle of the pentagon is more open than the right angle that we created. Therefore, it is an obtuse angle. Finally, angles can be added together to create larger angles. These three acute angles of 60 degrees, shown in three congruent triangles, can be put together to create a straight angle of 180 degrees. The angle measures 180 degrees because it spans from one side of the shared endpoint to the other. To represent this image with an equation, you could use repeated addition and write 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees equals 180 degrees. Or you could use multiplication. 60 degrees times 3 equals 180 degrees. Now you know how to classify, describe, and draw types of angles. Now it's your turn to practice classifying, drawing, and describing angles. Log on to Schoology to complete the Try It assignment that your teacher pushed out on angles. Then, show what you know about the types of angles by logging on to Schoology and completing your Show What You Know assignment that your teacher pushed out as an assessment. Make sure you submit this to your teacher. Well, fourth graders, it's been a blast hanging out and learning about angles with you. Until next time, have a great day.